Hi everyone, I'm Fiona. In this video, I will show you the testing processing for the EPS Peritide machine we exported. Now this machine has been assembled and is ready to test it with EPS raw material. Put the machine as required. Also can adjust the location according to your site. After material and the machine are put in place, connect all the wire between the machine. Follow the instruction of the digital and insert it into the air plug. Connect all the soft tube. Open the electric box switch. Connect the three Y in turn. Connect new wire. Connect ground wire. Open the total power switch. Rotate the emergency stop button. If the power light is lit up, that indicating there is electricity. In special circumstance during working, press the emergency stop button, make the machine stop. Rotate the emergency switch again, make the machine electricity. Debug machines positive and reserve rotation. If it is first starting and no material in the screw, press main button. According to the arrow, observe the direction of the belt pulley. If reversal, adjust the Y connection. Then put the filter into die head. Turn on the oil pump switch. Twitch reversing valve. Put the mesh into the filter. Hold the mesh when twitch reversing valve. Pulling the filter with mesh into the mold. Close the oil pump. Open the heating button. Set temperature. There has two temperature. The top temperature is actual temperature. The below one is set temperature. General, the temperature is between 180 to 220 degrees. If the machine is used and there is material, it must be heating to the specified temperature. Test the direction and change the mesh. Must not start the machine when it's cold it will cause the screw break. When the temperature reach to the set temperature, keep 10 to 20 minutes. Make the screw and die head heating evenly. Starting the crusher, feeding fan, blow dry motor, cutter, vibration, discharge motor, and feeding the material into crusher. Observe the silo. When the material reach to more than half, Open the first extruder, second extruder, and mixing motor. Slowly release the movable plate to third quarters. Waiting for the material flowing from the first extruder. Observe the melting degree. If material is hot, raise the temperature. If too rare, lower the temperature. Waiting for the material flow into the second extruder's inlet. Looking at the size of material, adjust the second screw speed. The material come from the second extruder. 
If the water temperature is too cold, shorten the distance in the water in order to avoid the material become brittle and cannot be cut. If the water temperature is too high, the granule will be stick together. At this time, you need to open the cooling water valve. The material goes through the blow and then come into the cutter. Check the thickness so as to adjust the cutting machine speed. Make the granule evenly. Shut down steps. First close crusher and feeding fan. Observe the silo and confirm the material is finished. Close the mixing motor. Turn off the pulling tray. Close temperature control table and all the appliance. Change the new mesh in the die head. Shut off the main switch. For more information about EPS Paratide machine, please leave a comments below or contact with us by email. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more video like this, please do not forget to subscribe our channel. See you next video.